a journey nearing its end. Michael sat at Parliament for the very last time. Win it be, win it be in our land. The late president was eulogized through song and sermon and accorded full military honors, a 21-gun salute. Even those who opposed Sata spoke fondly of him. I will miss him. I will remember him as a very strong competitor, a very good nationalist, one who cared about all Zambians, and I hope that we all learn something from him. Sata's patriotic front party dominates parliament, but it faces a battle in the upcoming election for the presidency. It's already caused divisions in the ruling party and fears of further unrest were the focus for many of the prayers today. Oh Lord, I pray, I plead with you in the name of Jesus, let every politician, both in the ruling and opposition, remember that this is God's nation. And let them go about whatever they may do in peace. We pray that there will be soberness. We pray, Lord, that there will be an understanding that the agenda of a single political party cannot outdo or be bigger than the agenda of the nation of Zambia. The penultimate leg in the journey of President Michael Sata to his final resting place. From here, his body will lie in state at the State House ahead of burial on Tuesday at the Embassy Park, the designated burial site for presidents and former heads of state of Zambia. At least eight African leaders have confirmed their attendance for the funeral. It will be preceded by a public service at the National Hero Stadium. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Lusaka, Zambia. Jesus!